Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit different of an Ultra Arena video for My Hero Ultra Impact. I am going to be picking one character and my goal is to build my team around that character and have them work out somehow. Uh, we are in Elite One because the Arena reset has just occurred. So most everybody who is in Legend got set back to Elite One. So that's why I'm here right now at the time of recording this video. I'm gonna take you guys through my team building process. So you can skip that part if you're not really interested in that part. And and then we're going to attempt to use the team that I built. So let's get into it. We are gonna be starting from scratch right here. I am going to show you guys the character that I want to use currently, and that is going to be this Kirishima right here. The reason I want to specifically design a team around him is because I recently got him to level 130, and uh, well, barriers are, are not the greatest, and so I want to see if I can actually make this character usable. So if you don't remember what this Kirishima does, because let's face it, he is uh, old, hasn't been used very much recently, um, we're gonna go over what he can do. So his plus ultra move deals 650% damage to a single opponent. It increases his defense by 20% and gives him the ability to make a last stand. All of that is solid. His action skill one uh, deals 350% damage to a single opponent. Gives character the ability to cover allies for three turns. That's like covering allies for three turns is very solid. And then also gives character a barrier that nullifies three hits. Okay, so that's decent. But once again, multi-hit attacks though can get rid of all three of those barriers like instantaneously, which makes this uh Kirishima not as good as he used to be. Multi-hit attacks have really just ruined barrier characters and a cooldown time of five. His action skill two is called Red Counter. It gives character the ability to counter for three turns after taking a normal attack. Gives character a barrier that nullifies three hits, so that's another three barriers. Also increases character skill impact by 40% for three turns okay and that is another five turn cooldown so not not bad overall the one like big detriment to him is that he's covering allies with no damage reduction really so keep that in mind and then his auto skill one is called goodbye to my weak past it increases character skill impact by five percent for every critical attack they receive up to 10 times also increases character skill impact by 35 percent when hp is below 50 percent and then increases max hp of all ally abl type characters by 25 percent and then i do actually have the additional ex auto skill on him there is one that gives him last stands, which is arguably better, but I didn't have enough pieces. So I have this one right here, increases character's defense by 20% for three turns after receiving two critical attacks. I do think this is actually a pretty decent one to put on him because as I mentioned before, he does have the problem of not doing damage reduction on his uh, action skills here. He does do it with his plus ultra, but that means you don't really have damage reduction until turn three. And even then that damage reduction is only 20%. So I think that additional EX auto skill of an additional 20% defense after receiving two critical attacks it's hopefully going to help him out a bit especially with the fact that he draws aggro so hopefully i can make this team work with him it is going to be difficult his ability boards are completely done his advanced leveling is completely done right so we're going to attempt to make him work out next i think on my team who do i want to run okay so he has five turn cooldowns i want to get it down to uh well like potentially four to three turn cooldowns i'm gonna want i'm gonna want someone who can give me action skill cooldown time essentially and i'm probably gonna want a healer um so with that in mind um we're probably not gonna be the fastest team it's gonna be hard to kind of figure this out as we go do we want to go for a more defensive team that's going to be slower and have slower build up and just hope that we yeah i think yep actually now that i'm thinking about it we're going to go defensive okay so this is where i think uh this this deku right here can come into play okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna put him in here and our goal is to basically use kirishima as our tank to get us to turn five where this deku gets persistence and then that deku can just kind of pop off i think is our goal here so next we need to be able to keep kirishima alive and also lower our action skill cooldown times and so the only real option that leaves us with here is uh probably yayurozu Okay, now this isn't necessarily the order I'm gonna keep these main units in, but I feel like that's a pretty decent setup here with the idea in mind that he's gonna be tanking, she's gonna be healing, giving last stands to him as well. Uh, and he also gives himself last stand with his uh, plus ultra. And then we have this guy for getting to turn five and getting that persistence. And then on my sub slots though, let's say Kirishima dies, right? That's gonna leave us with these two. We want somebody to be able to defend Deku. So, I think we go Red Aizawa here, um, and we put him up there for a little bit of extra defense, if I can find him, he should be somewhere in here. 
He is only level 100 for me. I do not have extra copies of him, but even at level 100, he is a very solid unit. All right, so that leaves us with blue, green, purple, red, and now we need a yellow unit if we want to be able to run Adventure Awaits, which is not terrible. Um, and you know what? A healer attack unit that who also gives defense, probably not a terrible idea. So like this Deku is also pretty good for defense. So I think that'll work out all right. So I like these two in the sub slots the way they are positioned. Kirishima de definitely does not need to be at the front. He doesn't have anything uh, that says he needs to be used first, but he could be first if these two need to be used in a second or later successfully executed skill chain. So it just depends. I don't really remember. I got to <laughs> look and see uh, if it says anything about successfully executed skill chain for either of them. I think it might for this Deku if I remember right. Maybe not. Uh, the skill gains, skill impact when he has an ability to line a bullseye, blah, blah, blah. Gives all allies the ability to evade one time. Um, yeah, okay. I guess Deku can be in any order. We probably want Yayurozu before Deku, though. Going in the turn order, though, because she is going to be able to increase the uh, HP of allies and stuff like that. Um, as well as increase the crit rate. So we're definitely going to want her to go first. When two allies get knocked out, increases max HP, blah, blah, blah. Gives character the ability to hide. When character's hiding, increases the speed of all allies by 25%. And then she increases plus ultra gauge. Okay, she doesn't have to necessarily be used in a certain successfully executed skill chain, so that's fine. I am going to switch Yayurozu and Kirishima. I like having Kirishima last because this counter is kind of hard to hit the tap sometimes, so I feel like this will work out all right. Okay, now the memories. The memories is going to be the tricky part. So first off, I know what I would like to do <laughs> is put Adventure Awaits on Deku here. I think that'll be really, really solid for him. I would also like to use the barrier memory on this Kirishima, but at the same time, I might need to use Splash or Dual Summertime. We're not really going for a speed team though. So keeping in mind that we're not really going for a speed team. Um, Let's see, what do we want to do? So this one is one memory I, I could potentially end up running. It increases characters max HP by 20% if there are any female characters on the team and increases the speed of all ally UA high students by 10%, reduces action skill cooldown time of all allies by one every three turns up to two times. That's not bad. I think I'll probably put that on Yayurozu actually since she'll be hiding. And I wanna see about using the barrier memory potentially on Kirishima. So let's go ahead and put that on her because we only have one character doing cooldown time. So we kind of have to use Splash here to get our cooldowns and keep our uh, action skills the way we want them. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about like status elements. This team might not do too well against like binds and stuns and stuff like that. So we'll have to see. Um, which one is the barrier memory? I think it's this one, right? Increases characters max HP by 30%. That's good. When using a barrier, increases characters max HP by 10% and increases plus ultra gauge by 15% up to 20 times and cancels two of their temporary status elements up to 20 times. Like, that's good, but it's not that... I think Kirishima needs more defense. Like, if that gave defense on top of that, that's fine. But, like, max HP without the defense is just... It, it's not that... It's not it. Okay, so I think that leads me to go like this. And increases the character's defense by 30% when equipped by a hero. Reduces damage to the character by 25% when covering allies. So now we got the 20% from our EX skill, 20% from our plus ultra, and 25% here. That is a lot of extra damage reduction. Um, also increases character's max HP by 20% if there are any pro heroes on the team. So we also get the HP increase as well. So I think that's what we're going to go for there. And then on the Aizawa, we typically want like a defensive memory on him as well. But in this case, I don't know what I'm going to do um, because I've already kind of used the uh, defense memory that I would like to use. And I don't really have, mm, I think I do have another copy of it actually, yeah. I do. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and use a two dupe copy. I would prefer a max dupe, but I don't have an extra max dupe copy yet. And then for Deku, we want to obviously be able to keep him alive as well. But I feel like at this point, by the time Deku comes out, if we haven't won yet, I, I, I feel like it doesn't matter. We can put whatever we want on him. So might as well put some crit and power. Hopefully he can land a big AOE with his attack or something like that at that point when he comes out. So I think this is the team I'm going to rock with. 473,000 total battle power. Not the craziest, not the worst. We're going to have to see how it goes. We're going to take on some actual people. We're not just going to take on my uh, little defense team right here. So we're going to go take on some people in Elite and see how this goes.
All right, so we're gonna start this off a little bit easier for ourselves, I think. Um, 427,000 total battle power. Now the thing is, they don't really have like binds or stuns or stuff like that that can really interrupt us. They do have the Confuse with Monoma, which could be a problem, but uh, they also don't really have uh, Pierce besides Deku. So hopefully, hopefully this will work out for us. Now keep in mind, our team will probably be slower unless somehow by some miracle they aren't running speed memories, but realistically they probably are. Yairozu does give our team speed, but not nearly enough for what we would want to accomplish here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to, let's buff Deku. Um, we're gonna go after their Deku first, or try to. We're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go like this. Oh my gosh, we're faster, holy crap, okay. Uh, so we'll be able to draw aggro with Kirishima as well. Let's, okay, yeah, okay. Crit rate up. Nice crit. All of those missed on him though, but we are able to cover. There we go, the barrier that was two hits. It did block two of uh, those two hits from Monoma, so that's good at least. We didn't get confused from that, so that's solid. We will take that. Um, I'm surprised we were faster, honestly. I'm just in wow, maybe we can kill Deku. Do we have, uh, okay. Uh, has the ability to land a bullseye, blah, 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 okay. Also increases the skill skill impact when character has the ability to land a bullseye. Okay, let's see if we can do anything here. We might not be able to. Alright, there's all three skill chains. We weren't able to do anything because he evaded. We didn't have bullseye yet. Uh, Kirishima is still holding up alright. It's not the worst. Alright, come on. He hasn't really been hit by crits yet, so I don't think he has the extra damage reduction yet that I would want to see from him. Uh, let's see if he has. So he has defense up by 30%. He has damage down by 25%. Uh, what else does he have? Does he have anything else? He has max HP up. Damage taken restore. Counter. Skill impacts. Yeah, no. Okay. He has, he has defense down on him, though. Uh, so hopefully oh, he's not going early enough he might hopefully he doesn't die he'll get last stand from his ultimate i think he also has last stand from yayurozu as well yes he does so hopefully it'll be okay we'll see okay that didn't do as much damage as i thought it might so that worked out for us deku's dead that's good we don't have to worry about him Ooh, you know what kirishima's kind of taken he's kind of doing he's doing good i'm surprised I love this animation, OG Kirishima. Looks good. The evasion we can't do anything about, but that's fine. Uh, he has extra damage reduction now, so he's taking a lot less damage, as you can see. We could have also gone the route of maybe like building this Kirishima with uh, Pinky. And so the idea behind Pinky is that it's an SR memory, and if you have more speed, is it more speed? Yeah, more speed than the enemy, if I remember right. Uh, each time you get hit, it increases your defense. So that could have been something we could have done, but that's okay. I think this is uh, a fine way to go about this. And honestly, uh, for a long time, people didn't really like the, the pinky. Now it's not so much of an issue when you run into it. It's a lot easier to get around. So keep that in mind too. It's not like a, a great, great memory. It's decent, but not as good as it used to be. All right, we have to target one of these two, we can't target Monoma. We'll go ahead and try to, uh, I'm torn. Uh, I think Deku, I think Deku first because he gives the extra defense, right? Yeah, there we go, we made the right choice. Okay, good, I feel good about that choice. Oh, he still got confused even with the barrier. Oh, that's what I, that's exactly what I was talking about with the confuses, that's annoying. Sorry, he's still tanking pretty well. Um, Deku is now at turn five, so we have accomplished our goal, like I would say, officially. That Pierce is gonna hurt, but they can't hurt Deku, so that's uh, one good thing we have going for us. All right, and now we should be unconfused. We're able to get the counter up. Let's go ahead and use these two plus ultras. All right, counter up. Give some barrier as well. She's dead. The beautiful, beautiful damage from Deku. The nice thing about this Deku is I feel like playing with him, you can actually bring in more defensive teams back into the meta. You may not get perfects, but like now if you just make it to turn five with Deku, you do have that persistence and it makes a big, big difference in uh, how well your team is going to do. Right, we're going to do uh, these. 
beautiful 72,000. He's dead. Oh my gosh, we might perfect this with Kirishima. I actually was not expecting that, but keep in mind, if you go against like a compressed team, a celebration or a rocket team, that probably won't be the case. I mean, we'll probably attempt one of those teams here, but the amount of status elements that they can do, it's gonna be hard to get around, right? So just keep that in mind, but there we go. That is a perfect with blue Kirishima. Didn't think I'd see it, honestly. Um, this character is so old, but like, there you go. He's still decent. The barriers on him are decent because it does block three hits as opposed to like the one hit that newer characters do, which isn't as good. He does draw aggro for three turns, which is solid. Three turns of drawing aggro is kind of insane. So yeah, let's take on another match and see how it goes. All right, a significantly harder team this time around. We have a Celebration Yairosu, a Celebration Uraraka, and a Celebration Bakugo on the main slots. And then if that wasn't enough, we have Redestra on the sub slot and Celebration Deku on the sub slot. So I think if we're able to make it past the first three, we'll be okay with Redestro because we will have the Pierce with Deku by that point, hopefully. But it, it's really gonna make me nervous to see what happens with Kirishima because of the buff block that Bakugo does, because of the stuns that Uraraka does. We might just honestly lose it's gonna be hard to see we'll see how this goes all right they are definitely gonna be faster this time around we're not gonna be faster than them so that is a disadvantage in and of itself uh bakugo is probably our biggest threat so we're going to try to go after him if we don't get stunned we'll see and i think everybody except for deku got stunned okay cool that throws off our skill chains already so this is the the rough part. We're gonna go ahead and yeah, we're gonna do this order here. We're actually going first because she's plus altering, which I guess is fine. Could be worse. All right, Bakugo should hit him. That's fine. We actually blocked all that. We have buff block on Kirishima now though, which is unfortunate. Yeah, you guys, you got stunned. Uh, okay, we'll draw aggro. We'll do this. Okay. That's fine. We're not able to, oh, we're not even able to get barriers. This is rough. This is way rougher than I wanted it to be. Oh, the last stand's coming in though. Oh no, he died. Oh, like I said, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. But the, you know, we built this team around him, but the goal is still to win with this team. So to get Deku to five turns was kind of the goal of that. Uh, Kirishima, so if we get Deku up to the next turn, we, we he's succeeded. He's done his job, right? So we'll see how this goes. All right, he's dead. She's sealed. Okay, we are in a, a very strong position after that right there. That worked out pretty well. We are forced to target Redestro here. We can't quite target Uraraka yet like I would like to, but that's okay. Um, we should be getting our plus ultras. Hopefully, let's actually do this order here. Defense down. 90. Oh my gosh, Deku. Insane. He has persistence, uh, so we're good on that. And if they start targeting Deku, we're good. So they'll switch back and forth between Aizawa and Deku. Like, honestly, not bad. I will use these plus ultras now. All right, here comes her attack. Uh, oh, the stun. The stun is going to be a problem. Uh, let's actually do this. It doesn't matter if we get rid of the status helmet at this point. And okay, everybody got stunned. Good news is Deku still isn't dead. We have two more turns of using this Deku. So let's go ahead and go like this. We're going to go like this. Uh, actually like this and then this. Yeah, we're going to go like that. Okay, 99,000 on him. Those two die. Come on, Deku. Don't get stunned again. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, do we have a chance? That is the question. Uh, all right, we have to go like this, right? They're going to hit Deku. It's fine. It's not fine. Okay, she's dead. Oh my goodness, it's 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 Jover. It's pretty much it. Ah, oh. okay, yeah, we're we're in a bad place. We're down bad. Ninety-nine thousand. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Oh wait, wait, is it? Oh no, no, no. Yo. Okay, come on. No. No. It was 
was so close. It was so close. Ah. All right. Well, <laughs> solid, solid effort from that team. I'm surprised we got as far as we got. Dang. Let's try another. All right, so at this point, we've already fought what I would consider to be the hardest team I want to fight today. So now I'm going to take on this team here. Now, the thing is, even though they have 414,000 total battle power, they do have a Compress and a Night Eye on their team. That is stuns and binds, two things of which I am terrified with this team. So I I do think they're going to be faster too because of Compress and Yairozu. And that means I could just genuinely, genuinely lose this so easily. So it, it'll be a little bit sad if I do. But hey, uh, w let's see how this goes. Alrighty, uh, I think we go after Night Eye first, right? Because he's blue. Yeah, obviously. I think I think that's the best idea. So we go like this. We go like this. And we go like this. Yep, we are second. Let's see if we get stunned or bound. Probably. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know what? Dubs. We avoided that somehow. We'll take it. We got coverage now. We're good. And Night Eye has taken some pretty... You know what? Dubs. That could not have gone better for us. That's all fine for us. Not a big deal. Alright, and Night Eye should die here. Hopefully. Get rid of all their barriers as well, like from the counterattacks. Oh, he didn't die. He was so close, though. Alright, well, hopefully right here we kill him. Oh, he gets the barrier, though. Uh, okay, Kirishima didn't get bound, though. Dubs. That's good. All right, come on, Kirishima. Pop off. All right, he's dead. Kirishima has extra damage reduction and another last stand now. This is looking promising for us right this second. All right, now we need to go and try to get, like, their compress here. Actually, I'm going to buff uh, Deku instead. We go like this. We go like this. Okay. They are faster still. Uh, we're good. We didn't get bound, so that's solid. I think the evasion that Deku gives Kirishima on top of his barriers is kind of nuts, so it actually works out pretty decently. I'm surprised. I'm genuinely, genuinely surprised how well this Kirishima is working out, guys. Like, you, you have to admit, it's going, it's going better than you, you probably initially thought it was going to go at the start of this. There's that pierce. That's fine. Wow, we're good. Now, outside of level 130, do I think it would do this wood? Prob probably not. Probably not. But for right now, level 130 uh, blue Kirishima. Damn, man. Like, damn. All right. Uh, Yeah, I guess we just do all of our plus ultras. They are going to be going first. Let's hope Kirishima survives. Uh, He might not. He might not survive this one. We'll see. Ooh, great damage. Really good, really good. Headshot dies. Okay, he actually survives it just fine. That's fantastic. Yo, Kirishima, man. Being being my goat, I am impressed. I think I'm going to actually heal him this time. Yeah, just to be safe. Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Dead? Yes. Okay, Compress is dead. I think we've done it. I think we have gotten another perfect with Blue Kirishima. Yo. Yo. These have been some matches. These have been some really good matches. Okay. Let's finish this up. Get ourselves a perfect victory. And you know what? Kirishima almost... Almost with no like trouble at all has been getting our Deku to turn five and that's all you could really ask for because if you get this Deku to turn five man he becomes so so good he's a monster right so we are oh my gosh we're so good all right Kirishima ended off for us come on my boy There we go, 79,000 on his plus ultra too. Like, it's good. It's good, he's so good, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the level 130 fully DX'd blue Kirishima down in the comments. Did you think he would be this good in the showcase? I will be completely honest. I did not think he was going to be as good as he ended up being. This team ended up working out pretty well. Who knows, maybe we'll see some people running it, uh, <laughs> but probably not because there are technically still better characters out there. But if you don't have all the best characters, maybe you have these three characters. Maybe Maybe it'll give you an idea 
for a team that will let you climb in Ultra Arena a little bit faster. If you guys did enjoy the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.